And so we are back at my FTP US server account, uh, so we can just check out the old stories. It's been an experience to play from the beginning at this day and age. For one thing, a dragon spine looks so much nicer compared to when I started the game. This is bad. Such a hassle. What am I going to do? What's wrong, Kaya? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out! Can't say I don't have time, which is kind of true. <laughs> the main reason I'm back playing this FTP account is because there's much, not much to do anymore. Marvelous. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? Ooh, secret pirate treasure. This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. I don't remember this at all. I do like that once he said that, they actually changed the music to something a bit more whimsical. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. <laughs> I never knew you could inherit eye patches. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins <laughs> is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a Hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. Eight-headed Hydras, silver-haired banshees, do they really exist? The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. It's been so long ago since I've last seen this that I really don't remember if Kaya is telling the truth or not. A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Is it true? Is it really, really true? Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Hey, kiddo. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. We're looking for... Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. 
We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. Yeah, Paimon in the early game sounds a bit different. Yeah, she's a bit more innocent in a way. It's eight-headed hydras and silver-haired banshees. That's what Paimon said. It's a super epic sword. Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? <laughs> now she's done it. Arcadian ruins. Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? <laughs> uh oh. Still no clues. Wow, I don't remember well, any of this anymore. Not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Kaya first. Oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well... Nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that... What's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate Black Market Intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian Ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? It's not ideal for Kaya to show his face. We'll get the intel back to you. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the knights. Ooh, no problemo. All right, this this uh. <laughs> so you see that a uh, thing over here, this domain that's labeled Elemental Trial. I have a feeling that in my main account, I haven't finished this one. I've always skipped that one domain in my main account. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I can't be too overconfident because uh. None of my characters are built in this FTP account. <gasps> Look! Oh. She's in trouble! Oh, okay, I forgot to do the hold again. Is this like Jean's ability? Oh, not really. Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. He's a traveler. He has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, oh. so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially, but now I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Really? Thank you, friend. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue. One, the treasure. Right. L wait, is... That it? There's also this map that came with it. Could this be the X marks the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? I'm gonna lead you to it then. Sure, I hope. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three? Six armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out. Three six armed giants. Oh, they're talking about the windmills. 
Ooh. Oh, it's those, uh, uh... Well, this is new. Yeah, um... The thing that... It's like the vinyl record or something for this thing in the teapot. Not that we can use it yet. The teapot is still undergoing maintenance. And of course, in this account, I haven't, I haven't even unlocked the, uh, the teapot. But in my main account, I've already collected all of those. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the six-armed giants... Hmm... Crabs? But yes, they should be the windmills. Hey, that's smart. I don't remember A any of this. A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense! So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. The other one is guarding... <laughs> let's hope it's really that simple. Come on, let's go take a look around that windmill. Oh, hang on, hang on. Forgot that I don't have the stamina that I do in my main account. There's a treasure. Ooh, let me see what's inside. She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles! Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no! Paimon used up all her brain juice! He never had any to begin with. Paimon will let you have all the fun! Or, you could get Kaya to help! She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. Any idea what that means? Is this some page stripped from a love novel that you just happened to find? Oh, so it's not a clue! No wonder someone as clever as Paimon wasn't able to get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hmm. Take this more seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear Spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the Clear Spring. So when does passion rush through a Clear Spring? When the water level changes? Not a bad idea. Like when uh, there's a waterfall, for example. It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described here. And the heart of the waterfall must refer to the cliff on the left side of the waterfall. I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate Cryo with you. Thanks for the help, Kaya. I mean... You're a Cryovision holder? It's nothing. If a Knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to solve criminal mysteries? Let's go take a look in Springvale. We'll leave you to your criminal mysteries. Um... Uh, no, wait! Um, leave you to solving your criminal <laughs> mysteries. What's the deal? Go here. Oh nice, it's kind of like a hangout, how, uh, how we're talking with Paimon. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. So, now... Let's go to the treasure location directly. You read my mind! Paimon's so happy! Let's go for it! Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like, like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, 
Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to... Uh, no, you are nothing. <laughs> Paimon, uh... Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> Alright, Paimon will save the chit-chat for later. Arcadian treasure hunt, here we go! Oh, we're going into a domain. I wonder if this is still in the map of my main account. This must be the Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Ooh. Oh, mice! <laughs> uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. Uh, it is my goal to try to have uh, these these uh, the starter characters throughout the entire um, journey, unless it's uh, it's ridiculous that I try to do that. What's happening here? Oh, is this the end? Where are you, my treasure? Let's look around. <laughs> I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? The treasure hoarders? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah, uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Low profile? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be right, wise thanks, not to underestimate us. Take care, man. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However. They're not as, uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them in Mondstadt prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to steal your treasure! Get him! Oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? <laughs> you got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of the... Wait, what are you... You're not gonna get me! Okay. Oh god. Whoa. What is this? I didn't mean it. Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, knight. You're not going to watch me die, are you? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please just help me. All right then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. A little with the wind. Nice. How embarrassing having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised. Or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. You lie to us? Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the knights! 
All right, all right. Stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> hmm. Let's go! Paimon's done talking to him! <laughs> Just a sec. You did help me out. Yeah, I like this music. So you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this harbinger of dawn as a reward. Oh, we get a free a harbinger, harbinger of, dawn? of dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. Means you'll use a different method next time. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance. Mission Impact reached 10 million pre-registrations all across platforms and regions. To celebrate our encounter, we'd like to present you, all of you with this pre-registration milestone reward, a quaint fate times 10. Hey, we got a free temple! And I think there's an achievement for get, making it to, like, Venti's hands here. Can you see it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright, let's do a 10 pull. So thank you, Hoyaverse. No 5 star yet. Rolling Tails. Ooh! A Favonius Warbo. Okay. I'll accept that. That's something I can give Amber, for sure. So I guess we should head on over to the Archon Quest. Shadow over Mondstadt. Oh, there's Jean. Oh, uh, very interestingly, she is wearing her new outfit. The last time I played this F2P account, she still had her original outfit, but now... Seems she's talking to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Well, that's a good idea. I should have... I should have played as Lumine. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <gasps> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. That's super interesting. I... I, I remember so little about this Archon quest. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? Ooh, Jean is mad. I don't remember this at all. Wow, okay. Yeah, Jean has a new outfit now. Um, and I think even in the cutscenes, uh, this is, oh, of course, with using the game engine, but even in the cutscenes, I, I believe that she is wearing her, wearing this outfit instead of her original one. I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions. No? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Ooh. 
politics. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? But like Fatui delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Oh, Paimon actually mentions Inazuma City? Why would there be pressure from Inazuma City if they, if at this point they still have uh, the Sakuko Decree and the Vision Hut Decree for that matter? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the God of Cryo. Okay. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Oh, them? They're super famous! Wait, infamous is more the word. How does Paimon know so much? I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo God's power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? There's something I need to show the Knights of Favonius. Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Or tomorrow without tears. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Still not used to Jean it's a wearing crystal that. crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. <clears throat> I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... Uh, this is something I've noticed when I, when I first started playing the, this, this US-based account. The lip-syncing is actually in sync. No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! Yeah, you know what? The lip syncing being in sync with the English is, uh... It's a big deal for me. <laughs> uh, I believe that uh, originally when I first played through this, uh, the lip syncing was based on the Chinese version. Um, and, you know, the English voice was just dubbed over it. But now they've actually done a, a really great job with the lip syncing, at least for the Archon quest. Uh, with other stuff, like the uh, the story quest with Kaya earlier, the lip syncing was not in sync yet. The impurities in the crystal, it hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Cutie? Fascinating. <laughs> Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. I like that they cued in the music at this point. When, uh, when she actually offered the title of Honorary Knight. Knight of Favonius?
We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage... ...and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. You can visit whenever you need to look something up. That Naturally, voice. the library is free to access. Just don't forget to return books on time, or you'll make my job difficult. Is it just me, or she, does she sound different? The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? We need people to... Need people for doing... We just need more people. <laughs> its change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I wonder if we'll see Varka anytime soon. I must get to the bottom of this. Those people in strange uniforms are Fatui. They're here as delegates from Snezhnaya. Stay away from them. Having contact with them is dangerous, even for innocent travelers. There's something you didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. I'd like to investigate it on my own first. I don't think he's a bad guy. Oh, are we talking about Venti? So you do remember him. That green guy. He looked just like that guy down there. There you go. <laughs> the exact same shade of green. What a coincidence. Well, looks like him. What? Look for the suspicious person. Ooh, we have the wind trace music. <laughs> that green guy disappeared. Use elemental sight to track him down. The green fellow left animal footprints. Track him down. Yeah, there's this thing, this, uh, this little challenge. Oh, shoot, it started. When I first did this, I was on the iPad. It was so hard. Oh, no! <laughs> I guess it's okay to fall that way instead of the other way. Is there a time limit to this? Yay! What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archon still walked the Earth? A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. 
enchanting legends the bard and dragon were. But the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Lone Stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms, a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. Are. Okay, before we continue, some quick thoughts. That other dragon was Durin, wasn't it? The Valen had this fight with Durin long ago and it ended over at Dragonspine. Uh, also, we got to see what I believe was uh, Barbados's um, alternate outfit. You know how uh, Morax had that, had that outfit with the white hood? Uh, I believe... Yeah, um, Beelzebul has a similar one as well. And then now we got to see uh, Venti's. Oh, not Venti's, uh, Barbados's. So that's interesting. Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. <laughs> uh, hi. I'm sorry, you are? I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. <laughs> Of course it's about Storm Terror! Storm? Hey! Cut it with the amnesia act! Alright, show it to him. Oh! Isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified! When? Not sure how this happened. The last time I checked, it was full of impurities. Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. Is there anything I can do to help? I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh, what do you 
make of that? This weirdo, as he put it, we need to keep an eye on him. As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. You know... You know what? His voice seems familiar. Wise. Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows it's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one! You can't miss it! Surely you still remember! I just realized that you could see it from here. Alright. Nice. The symbol of Monsat's hero meaning, uh, Vanessa, I guess? Because that's where... That, that big tree is the site of where Vanessa actually ascended. Uh, because she was chosen by Celestia or something like that. What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. I want to know more about the animal god. Oh right, we don't know yet uh, that... <laughs> you speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. I think uh, the last anyone had heard from Barbados at this point was uh, him meeting with Morax. But, you know, just visiting. They didn't really need Morax's help or anything. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Oh, right. Yeah, at this point, uh, Morax really was still the, the god over at Liyue and have the, uh, the assassination of Rex Lapis yet. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Tavalin? It's because gods... um... Yes, someone told me about Devalin's past. Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. What? Are we not supposed to see him? That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Oh no. Green guy? His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. Seems the dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. Abyss Mage? Never heard such a name. I think I've heard of, heard of them before. Yeah, we actually we actually did fight them earlier. Correct. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. Well, we all know what what the Abyss Mages are now. <laughs> I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Would Venti not know? Um, if I remember right, that is possible. Uh, Venti might not know about the origin of the Abyss Mages because uh, he showed up a bit later, uh, after the whole uh, Cataclysm, if I, if I remember right. Because he only became involved with the overall tale when he met the nameless bard and yeah he was just a, a, a sprite or or an elf or something um yeah he he wasn't really involved until the time of vanessa and all of them um 
So yeah, he wouldn't know about the origins of the Abyss Mages. So this holds up. <laughs> Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. Hmm. Why would he say that? But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The tree actually looks really nice. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Oh yeah, and just before this he said that it's the place where Monst Mondstadt's hero rose. So yeah, he is talking about Vanessa because she was uh, selected by Celestia and ascended up to Celestia. Wonder how she's doing up there. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. He does return here later on when he had to heal from uh, from something. <laughs> so, how exactly did you get poisoned? Ah, uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Oh. Yes, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> look so at the look on Aether's it, face. You're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. So this holy liar de Hamel is... One of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Devalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world! There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? Just what is that in your eyes? Look into my eyes, what are you hiding? The color of your eyes is like the sky in my hometown. Why would Ether say that? That's super interesting. <laughs> that one doesn't work on a bard. Okay. So how can we get the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. trying to think is venti the only one who the only playable character that wears a cape oh look at this place okay another thing that's striking me is when i when i played this part uh the first time i was playing it on an ipad and now that i'm playing it on pc with like all the bells and whistles it looks so much better I mean, look, look at this cathedral. It looked good in the iPad, but here, jeez. Let me handle this. Hello there, sister. May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? <laughs> Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo. <laughs> Ooh, she has a name. I can't pronounce that, though. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. Ooh. <laughs> what? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the knight's way. That's simply not acceptable! Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. 
Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Aww. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. Oh. My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? <laughs> if there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! <laughs> That was good. That was funny. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. Talk to the sister. Barbados bless you. Hello, I am the honorary honorary knight of Favonius. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Yes, actually. The knights of Favonius would like to borrow the Holy Liar. Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Something we haven't experienced yet, ever since the launch of the game. Uh, this is one... L the Ludihar Pastum is, a. Uh, uh... It's another festival in Mondstadt. That, uh, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen yet. Considering that uh, we've experienced wind bloom, and over at Liyue we had the um, we've had the 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 lantern right twice already, and apart from that we had the what's the one where uh, the moon moon chase moon chase festival. So it's it's kind of surprising we haven't seen Ludi or Pastum yet. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and community representative are all required. Oh, wow. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? The Grand Master didn't mention it. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring it here. I might it on our way here. <laughs> A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. Sorry, Venti. Didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. <laughs> Today we stand for free will. Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. I don't want to steal anything. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! <laughs> what do you say? 
I'm sorry, wait, did you just say you're Barbados? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? If you really are a god, then we can't simply abandon you. Okay? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Oh, Paimon refers to me as her. And if you're not a god, then I'll help Devalin anyway. Huh? I will bring you the Holy Liar Dear Himmel. I don't want to see another separation. Okay, alright, alright. Ready, know that? Enter the cathedral at night. Isn't it night already? Right, this I haven't done in ages, like pretty much two years. Infiltrate basement and obtain the holy lighter him out. I wish we I wish we returned to this site. Like since ever since. Because this is a cool venue. I should be able to crouch, right? Or was it this? No? Don't mind me. I thought I was able to crouch. Oh, there we go. That was a bit too easy. I remember it being harder. Oh! <laughs> Follow me straight to the bar. Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who, exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Uh, okay. Master Diluc, have you seen two thieves around? <sighs> what happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <sighs> Haven't you heard, Master Diluc? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar! Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves! Such a precious piece of cultural heritage! <laughs> Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. 
believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master Diluc. Today, I think I'll have a glass of... You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... How about answering my question first? Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyre de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? We're not close, actually. I've only heard him play once. Despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. We need to see more of Diluc. Like in the main story. The Knights of Favonius. Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. We need to be, we need to know more about this stuff. Well, what happened between Diluc and the Knights of Avonius? Why is there this tension between him and Jean? Oh, well, th that that won't become apparent until a bit later on in the story. But yeah, we need to, there's so much we need to know that they haven't released yet. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Avonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now. Answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. <laughs> if I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. So does he know that we don't have it? Very well. Let me put on a show. The story I want to tell starts at a brutal battle with the wicked dragon ingested venomous blood and fellow blah blah blah. What did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master Diluc? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Wait, what just happened? Did, uh, did Venti reveal that he's Barbados to Diluc? Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. You're here. Wait, you're... Oh, Jean's here. Jean? Why is the acting Grandmaster here? Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. Okay, my criticism about Jean's new outfit mostly is about the colors. 
I don't like that they are muted. I do like her new, like, uh, corset or whatever. Um, I like the design, but... They muted the colors. They made... They, they gave her a darker blue. Uh, the red doesn't pop out as much. I, I even miss the white sleeves. They're black now. So... Yeah, uh, I'm... Design-wise, just the design, I like it, but the, uh, the colors kind of uh, disappoint me. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right. Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. Ooh. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However... If it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. I don't get that. Why not? Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, because currently the Knights of Avonius, their stand is to destroy Storm Terror, right? Um, and since she's, you know, the acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Avonius, she kind of cannot go against that, I suppose. So she cannot publicly be on the side of Dvalin in a way. <sighs> And that frustrates D look a lot. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe in Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? I need more of this. I need more of the history between Jean and D look and the Knights of Favonius. I already told you not to call me, sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together, after all. Sir, pretend to not have heard anything. Ooh, this is cute, because uh, D-Look actually appreciates the opportunity to work with Jean. So he's willing to just let this all go. Hmm. Uh... Oh, tension. <clears throat> More tension. <laughs> I hear ya, Paimon. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Oh. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. Yeah, Jean's a real diplomat. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. Okay. So, Jean is kind of revealing here that there is some sort of conflict between... Uh, the Seven Archons, for some reason. I believe uh, Barbados and Morax have a good relationship. They're, they're buddies, they're friends. Not necessarily with... Um, with Baal or Beelzebul. Are they aware of uh, what happened to the Electro Archon? I wonder. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animal Gods' power. Uh. Oh, so they know that. The knights actually know that. That the, the two we want. Barbados' power. But that's another reason why Barbados would want to remain anonymous to protect himself. So are they going to take over the defense of Mondstadt? So they want to kill Devalin? Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then... The only other way to affect the Animal God's power is to take the Holy Liar. 
The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Let's go. Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados' connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The God of Animal? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Also, d look doesn't know yet. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. You remember the disguise? It's just a mask. What sword is he using? What? He's using the wolf's gravestone. I guess that further defines uh, the wolf's gravestone as Deluxe's cannon weapon. Has he noticed me? No! No! Oh! Don't eat me! Are you you human? The entire floor's defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. Oh, this is interesting. The Abyss Order is attacking the Fatui. We have come for the Holy Liarder Himmel. We have come for your life. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins. But don't come after me. I don't know which one of the guards has it. But I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. Y you just worry about yourselves. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's La Signora. That's Signora! Right. When she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Senora? What a strange name. I sometimes forget Number that she exists. Goes by the name Senora. The fact that the Fatui can run amok across the Seven Nations like they do is entirely because of the Eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. You rat scurry Even out Elden Ring. Senor is not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the uh -oh. trouble of having to deal with you herself. Finally, the liar is back in safe hands. Where did that guy go, though? He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Okay. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. Welcome back. Oh, this is the Holy Liar. You managed to retrieve it. The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too. Oh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Is that 
really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Lyre to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Duvalin with it. The lyre itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. I don't know how to fix instruments. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Lyre! Let me give it a try. What do I do? Triangle. It worked as expected. This youthful glow. Praising yourself? Really? <laughs> I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. Right, how do we do that? I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying, suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Leave it to me. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Tone Deaf Bard. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. Whoa, what was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. I need to learn to Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular object was very rare. It was a vial which contained the animal god's breath. Relics yeah. come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure, you can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find. 